Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith. These are your headlines for March 2nd. Navy and Marine Corps senior leaders testified before the House Armed Services Committee March 1st. Secretary of the Navy Donald Winters spoke about the Navy's plan for shipbuilding. We're very pleased that the 30-year shipbuilding plan that was just submitted to you is the same exactly in 08 and 09 and uh, almost the same in the out years as what was submitted last year. And this gives uh, the industrial base the opportunity to properly plan for those activities. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Mike Mullen spoke about his current objectives for the Navy. My priority is to sustain combat readiness, build a fleet for the future, and develop 21st century leaders. I know the role our Navy must play in helping win the war on terror while providing a powerful deterrent and meeting our commitment as a vital element of this nation's strategic reserve. Commandant of the Marine Corps, General James Conway, talked about the creation of a wounded warrior regiment to ensure quality medical care for Marines. Uh, the battalions in particular will have a tracking responsibility for Marines wherever they are in the country, be it on a hospital, be it on convalescent leave, perhaps even, even if, if they're out of the service and have needs. In other news, USNS Sacagawea was delivered to the Navy's Military Sealift Command February 27th. Sacagawea is the second of nine vessels in a new class of combat logistic force ships. This new class of ship is designed to operate independently, carrying multiple products in their cargo, giving the Navy a greater ability to maintain a forward-deployed presence. From the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.